What's going on everyone? This is Adam here from No Shell Space and today I'm showing you everything you get in the merchant tray for Mythwin. So if you're going to play as the merchant, this is all the components you'll get when you unbox your game for the first time. But first things first, let's take a peek at the merchant's journal. These journals are incredibly helpful. They have so much information including everything included with your merchant as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up and be sure to follow along and do each step very specifically when you're playing for the first time. You're going to need some room beside your board, so make sure you leave some room for various cards. You're going to have um, you're going to have a couple locations. You're going to have some rivals who are selling stuff. You're going to have some um, visitors coming or some, some consumers. Customers, that's the word. You're going to have some customers, so make sure you have a lot of room beside your board. But then again, it's going to go into all the basic concepts of this character, and this character is a little bit more uh, complicated than maybe the trader or the farmer. Maybe a little bit more in line with the ranger. So if you're not quite familiar how to play the game yet, maybe try out the farmer or the trader first, or the yeah, the farmer or the trader, and then uh, move on to the uh, the merchant and the ranger. But here you go. It has all the information you need. It'll talk about marketplaces. It'll talk about rivals. It'll talk about customers. It'll give you a breakdown of each of the various phases that you're going to be going through. So much great stuff in here. Um, here you go. Buying, selling manufacturing, uh, buy for your customers, like all this good stuff. There's a lot going on. So just make sure you are following along with the book the first couple times you play so you're not doing anything incorrectly. But there you go. There's so much good stuff. As you get to the back of the book, uh, you'll have information on how to end a season. You'll have information on all the skills you can earn, learn, earn purchase. I'm having a hard time talking. All the things you can purchase and what they exactly mean. And then it'll also tell you how you save the game. So if you ever want to come back and play The Merchant later, it'll tell you how to pack it up so that it's all ready to go the next time you play. But on the back, there's a handy little guide for you. Almost like a cheat sheet. You can just set that down beside your board. So whenever you need to know what something means or what an icon means, you can just take a quick peek and get yourself going. But let's take a hop jump and a skip over to the merchant tray. So let's open this up. We're just going to set that aside. As we've done with all our videos, we're going to start over here in the area that is the same on every board. Here are your worker actions, whether you're aligned with the sprites or the villagers. Here's where your skills will go. So when you take the action as your action, not as a worker action, but as your action, you'll be able to activate a skill as well. When we remove this tray, we'll have some room underneath for tokens, coins, whatever you want to store there, as well as all your skill tiles. They're going to be right here. And um, you'll be setting these beside the board for when you play. And uh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to stop myself from coughing during this video. Uh, you'll set them all down beside the board. And then when you buy one, you can easily access it. But when you're done, you'll place them right in here. And it gets covered nicely uh, by this little cover. All right. On the top here, we have the merchant. And this is what it'll look like when you're first starting. And this is what... It will look like when you are playing. There's a bunch of stuff over here. And again, I haven't looked up into the merchant very well. So I don't know what this all means right now. But on this side, there's some merchant specific stuff. And then over here, this is what you'll have to pay to upgrade or upgrade to increase the, the various tracks on the communal central board. The merchant also has a lot of different cards. So here we have rival cards. You'll have a whole bunch of those different rivals that are going to come and try to sell their own wares and compete with you. For customers, there are also, if I can get these out, there are also two other decks of cards. One of them is uh, the tendency, and this will be the tendency of your rivals, what they what they tend to do, how they tend to act, uh, what the, uh, like that. And then you'll have your customers, and they're going to come to purchase various things from you. So again, make sure you've got room beside your board when you're playing so that you have room to lay out all these cards. And then here you go. You have your various goods right here. You've got tools down over here. You've got fur right here. You've got food here and you've got wine here. You'll be tracking all of these and what level they're at. So you could have level one, level two, level three. You'll be tracking that all within the spaces on this board right here. So that'll be very handy. But again, make sure that you're reading and checking up on how this merchant plays because it's a little bit more complicated than some of the other characters. And then just to show you, there's nothing underneath there. It's just a track. This cardboard just gives you all the information you need, as well as a nice spot to lay these little pieces in, just like that. And then when you need to move the piece, you just tilt it and pull up. Very handy. It's a very good design feature that they have here. But otherwise, that is everything you get as the merchant. Some people have been doing this. You can lay your... Oops, I should put that back on first. 
You could lay, if you want to, I haven't been, but you could, you could lay your merchant journal right there on top and click down this and you're all ready to go with the merchant. If you like this video, check out all the other Mythwin videos I have up on the channel for all the characters in the core box, as well as an unboxing of everything that I got uh, when I pre-ordered the game from my local game store. That includes this mat, metal coins, the expanded horizons, the main uh, box with the myth drop, as well as uh, the Winds of Magic expansion and the event cards, the Kickstarter event cards. If you watch a video that has all that. It's about 25 minutes long. Be sure to check that out. There's also a reprint campaign coming up in March of 2024. So if you're watching this before then, there's a link down below. You can click that, hop on over, be notified when that goes live. If you're watching this around March, the campaign might be live. Go over there, grab your stuff, good luck, and enjoy. And if you're watching this after March, I don't know what to tell you. Hopefully, maybe you can still get something through like a... Uh, late pledge or something like that, but you might be out of luck and you shouldn't have waited so long to watch this video. But guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, we'll chat again real soon. Goodbye.